to achieve the life that you want, right? Another thing, question that I have to ask people is this. How do you move ahead when you don't have confidence in your abilities, right? So, what are your abilities? What are your abilities and what are you trying to achieve? If you are trying to achieve something new, you don't have those abilities yet, guys. You don't have those abilities. You know, when it came to me starting a business, I didn't have any abilities when it came to marketing, creating products, and and uh, and and running a website or running a business or doing accounting or anything. I didn't have any of those abilities, right? But it was my constant reps and sets that allowed me to begin to learn, to grow, and to know, right? And not just know for myself, but to know who I needed to follow in order to create, okay, the habits that it would take for me to begin to develop, to learn how to run a business, guys. And this is the work that it takes, right? It is not about your belief. It is not about your confidence and your abilities, right? It is not about either one. You move ahead because you know that you're on the right path. And you don't need confidence in order to do the steps. It is the constant reps, right? It is the constant reps and sets that will eventually, right? Eventually, as I said, guys, um, help you to feel like you can succeed and, and will allow you to have confidence in yourself. It, it, that is what's happening here, right? A lot of people don't move ahead because they don't believe in themselves and they don't have confidence in their abilities and so they're continually trying to read and, and learn more and read and learn more and they're not moving and when you're not moving you're not growing you're actually regressing guys believe it or not um, I found this out in myself and this is probably the situation between uh, amongst uh, many people that you know who aren't succeeding at the level that they want to succeed in their life, right? Um, you are don't have confidence in your abilities. So you read something and you get excited about it, and but you really don't know how to implement that yet, right? So now you have a fear of the implementation process because, you know, you, are, you don't want to embarrass yourself, putting yourself out there to try something new that you don't know about here's the deal guys you are going to suck in the beginning everybody sucks in the beginning nobody comes out the womb perfect right nobody comes out the womb walking everybody has to go through the process man everybody has to learn everybody has to grow right and and, and the people who learn the fast the quickest the fastest the people learn the fastest are the people who just jump right in and start doing reps and sets. Jump right in. No matter how poor their form is, no matter how um, they don't know how to, uh, their endurance, they don't have, understand anything about endurance, about their breathing, about nothing. They just jump right in and start doing reps and sets, right? Jump right in. Action is the key to help you to create the life that you want. It is action. Right, and if you don't act, you won't grow. Period. That's that's just the facts. You have to act in order to grow. You have to act in order to move forward to proceed, achieving the goal that you want. Action is the key that unlocks your potential, guys. If you want to unlock your potential, you got to start doing things, right? And things meaning the action that it takes. Um. So. Um, I just wanted to say, guys, now understand that it is not your confidence or your belief that causes you to act. It is not your confidence or belief that causes you to act. Um, I have done many things with no confidence and no belief in myself. Right? I just followed a proven path. Right? I followed a proven path and I just went for it. And I did it every day. You know, I do these podcasts every single day because I want to prove a point, guys. I want to prove a point that when I started this podcast, right? When I started this podcast, 105 episodes, 104 episodes ago, this is my 105th, right? Um, 
not one single person knew anything about me. Nobody. A complete unknown other than my small circle of influence, right? Small circle of influence knew about me. Um, and as I go toward my 365th episode of my daily podcast, my intentions is to reach 1 million people. And I don't know how to reach 1 million people. I'm assuming it's through my marketing and advertising. But um, for me, it is going to be a serious, serious learning curve and some serious growth that I'm going to have to go about in doing this. And I don't have confidence, okay, in myself. And I don't, I don't have, I don't know whether um, my abilities are what it takes to achieve uh, that type of goal. But what I do know is that I'm following a mentor who already achieved it, and I'm just going to continue to do what he says, okay, despite my belief and despite my confidence. And that's how you guys got to go about your life if you really, really want to achieve the life that you want. You can't just bank on what you know. You have to, you have to bank on some proven paths, guys. Don't bank on what you know. Stop digging into your, your, your damaged subconscious, right, of things that people told you you can't achieve. Stop tapping into that because that is what's holding most of you back. You know, you've had things in the past that have happened, things that you failed with, and you're trying to use those things to judge how you're going to succeed in the future. The past, the past, it doesn't matter anymore. It already happened. You can't go back and change it, right? Only thing you can do from the past is, if you're lucky, barely remember it, barely figure it out, right? Um, and that's, that's about the past. That's all you can do. You don't know nothing. Okay, other than the fact that you need to move forward and learn and grow the best that you can. That is how you do it. That is how you achieve the life that you want, guys. You have to begin to move forward. Sweetheart, you didn't even duck under the camera. So, <laughs> just to let you guys know, and do too, that was my daughter right there. There was a spider on the other door. Yeah, she's worried about a spider on the other door. So, anyway, guys, um, just to say this to you guys real quick as I um, continue, because I wrap this up. Um, there is, right, a, a small, small window that you have when it comes to achieving the goal that you want, having, uh, the action that you need to take, right? And if you stop worrying about your belief and having confidence and just act, right, um, what you'll see is you'll start to see the momentum start to start to shift in your favor because you're acting not based on belief, not based on confidence, right? But based on the fact that you know that the path that you're following is correct. And when you begin to do that, you, you actually achieve more things. You achieve way more things acting without confidence, without belief, then you do acting with confidence and belief. Uh, and and I, I'm just a firm believer in this, man. A lot of people wait way too long, okay, to achieve the life that they want. They wait way too long to act on their goals. Me, personally, I have waited way too long to act on some of the things that I wanted to achieve in life. And a lot of those moments have passed, right? And I can't look back at those. All I can do is look forward to the future and continually act and grow, right? So uh, hopefully, guys, um, uh, this has hit you guys in a spot where you need to uh, begin to love your life, right? Um, as I told you guys before, me and Kanta, love it. I love it, okay? Begin to say that in any situation that you are in in life, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. Begin to love everything about your life. Every decision you make, right? Um, every situation you find yourself in, just love it and grow from it, guys. Because that's what it is. 